Since patch 10 came and just took out this explosive behind the back move in NBA 2K. Everybody in the 2K community is straight crying. Crying, crying, crying. Mike Wang really doesn't care. Because at the end of the day, his job is to take the fun out of the game. Let's get into this video. LS57 got to feed the streets. Streets. Stickers, 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 stickers. Spit a clip. What's poppin', y'all? Y'all know how we get down out here. Oh, man, I haven't been in these streets for a minute. But look, yo, at the end of the day, let's talk about something serious. Um, Patch 10 drop. Everybody dropped their videos. Cool. I haven't been on 2K like that. Cool. I went on and I started trying to explosive behind the backs. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody's talking about how it's patched. This, that, and the third. The only people that, in my opinion, have problem with these is is the, uh, like, dribble, dribble gods, right? But not really dribble gods, because if you're a dribble god, you really didn't need this to, um, to, to bust ass in 2K, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's the people that use this as their only exploit, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's true. It takes the fun out the game because when you learn a move that's like you want to say your go-to move, which this was for thousands of people, a lot of people in the community, it, it, it sucks for those thousands of people. But you got to understand, them thousands of people are not millions of people. You know what I'm saying? People, a lot of people had a, a problem with this, obviously, because people will exploit. And that's what the community does. They find a move and they exploit it. Now, the reason why I'm making this video right here, because I heard something from one of these quote-unquote Dribble God 2K community people, and he said something about how YouTubers are the reason why this game blew up, right? And I'm like, hell the f*** it didn't, bro. Get your up out of here, bro. 2K been popping since Chris Smooth. Chris Smooth is one of the reasons why 2K had blown up. Shakedown 2012 is the reason why this game has blown up. Respect the OGs. Gento, the reason why this game has blown up. Not because what y'all doing now. Y'all are just, the 2K community is for us like the park. Y'all evolved the game. This game was going to sell regardless. They have NBA people before you dribble guards came into the picture. NBA players was promoting this game. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a like for that? For dropping some facts on that ass if you're watching this video spit a clip now um there's more names out there you want to put out cash nasty my team community so it's like don't dare think that you're you guys are like the the, the people that make the game y'all don't make the game that was the you know what i'm saying that that's that's not it you know what i'm saying y'all y'all uh y'all account for a lot of the um views on youtube but that's like saying, if this game wasn't on YouTube, it wouldn't have sold. This basketball game is going to sell regardless. You know what I'm saying? That's how dominant and how much in demand that this game is in. Now, I'm getting off topic. Let's go back on topic. All right? That's just a reality check for YouTubers, though, that think that if it wasn't for y'all, it, would, it wouldn't have blown up. You're bugging. You get views. Yeah? You entertain the community to a certain extent, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, look. Look. Oh, let me give props to the to people that got it got it popping. Um, dribble guys like Steezo. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, who, who else? I run you's a good dribble guy. I know he's a good dribble guy. There's a few of them out there. You know what I'm saying? I am Davis. Uh, Cold the man was one of them. I remember him. Um, dang, who else? There's a lot of other people. Shout out to my man Shoot. Shoot's very entertaining. You know what I'm saying? The 2K community. You know what I'm saying? I like the OGs. You know what I'm saying? The new community, they think because they do dribble moves like they got it pop. That's not, that's not how it goes, bro. But look, let's get to why they passed the game. With that move, that explosive move. You ask me, it's because, well, like I said earlier in this video, it's an exploit. You're taking advantage of something, they're going to patch it. You know they got the 2K League. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you still can't do the move. It's just not as effective as it was. And that's basically 
what people have a problem with. You know what I'm saying? That is not that effective. You know, um, they was it was making the game like real like kind of arcadey. Then it's really an exploit when you think about a behind the back move. <clears throat> excuse me, I had to clear my throat. When you do this behind the back move, it's an exploit because you're doing this behind the back move behind screens. A lot of people have pulled this move off behind screens. And that's what really has people frustrated out here. Behind screens. Doing a move behind screens is what made people frustrated. You get a big, go out in the park, do it behind screens. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You go twenty one zip a lot of people that way. A lot of people like that. Like that move, excuse me. A lot of people like that move. Then you have people that don't know how to play defense for some odd reason. Because t- this year, to me, in my personal opinion, 2K defense has been the better years for defense. You know, it's been the better year for defense. Lockdown. Um, I I would honestly say that, yeah, it's, it's freaking, it's better this year. But the only thing I could say, like, is that Mike Wang, like, the things that they do, like, if once they see an exploit, they want to, it's like they in competition. And this, this is the funny thing about it. Because the influence that, like, um, I'll say, like, social media has in the community, like Twitter, right? And and YouTubers as well. I'm not saying YouTubers are the reason why they sell a game. No, I, I'm still, I'm going to keep that. I'm keeping it to it. You know what I'm saying? It's going to sell millions regardless. To me, 2K didn't get YouTube, I mean, YouTubers didn't get 2K jobs. 2K gave YouTubers jobs at the end of the day. Now, but back to what I'm saying, like, that's no hate to y'all. It's just the truth. Like, some of y'all be getting big headed. Like, if YouTubers stop playing 2K today, that game, people still going to be playing the game. People will still be playing the game. You know what I'm saying? People still going to buy the game. But look, back, back on topic, look. It's like, what happens with Mike Wing is, it's like, it's an ego thing at this point with, with certain devs. Like, Y'all do something in the community, and they, it's like they have a battle with you. Like when Steezo was dropping videos and Steezo started getting hot. What they did, they go after Steezo. Swante, remember when Swante got hot? Swante, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows Swante. Swante does things, he did stuff. They're going to patch him. They try to patch him. You know what I'm saying? They do certain things to patch thing, to patch these YouTubers. Once y'all start talking, shh, you know what I'm saying? So when y'all out there like, oh, I'm the dribble guard, I'm this, I'm that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like Steezo, for example, they go after his head. They going for his neck. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're doing a VC glitch or something like that, they're gonna drive. They're gonna go for your head. You feel me? VC glitch has been in this game for the longest. Like some people, y'all just getting in the 2K community. But if y'all know anything about Shake and Bake, Shake and Bake is like the crisp move of VC glitches. What I mean by that is there was a glitch back in the days that Shake and Bake. This is what blew Shake and Bake up. Shake and Bake Blue off a of VC glitch. He got invited. I think it was the first ever team up or the second team up. I believe it was the first ever team up, if I'm not mistaken. And this was wa- this was way back. This was in the this was back when they first did team up. It was either the first year or the second year. I'm willing to say it's the first year. But he came out there and Shake and Bake was the dude that did the VC glitch. And he got invited to the 2K community. It was called Team Up back then. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of people don't understand. So when you're playing this game, I'm telling you, they go for the people that do YouTube. And they go for the people that do YouTube that talk crap. You know what I'm saying? They go for the people now that talk crap. Back then it was a little more professional. Now they just, they freely invite people. You don't have to be that big of a YouTuber. You don't, I mean, nowadays they invite people that don't even play like, 2K, they'll buy, they'll, they invite like cooking people, people that, that got a cooking channel. Or <laughs> That's a joke. But they got some people that go to team up or, uh, I mean, excuse me, community, community day now that they would have never invited back in the days. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's the thing. And, and, and some people they ain't, don't even have to be that big or on YouTube with 100Ks and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, when you go app 2K and you out there making these videos and your video blows up, 
Not saying it's blowing up its, its sales, but your video, your video blows up and you're showing them the community how to do exploits. You show them how to do glitches, especially glitches and VC glitches. Like that's that's basically gonna get you banned. But when you're doing animation moves, they patching animations now. Now that right there, you could tell that Mike Wing is taking things serious at that point. Like he, he's taking things very very. Serious at that point in juncture, and it's just a hey, it is what it is, man. You, you can't control it, you can't stop it. But once they know about this glitch, they come if he's coming for that the animation, bro. He's gonna do something, and it's gonna be a huge patch that turns the community mad and gets the people that really don't know how to play basketball because it's a video game like. They get mad, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what happens basically in the 2K community. So, with that said, I'm LS57. You know I gotta feed the streets. I'll give y'all some more 2K videos. You know what I'm saying? Coming in the future, you know what I'm saying? Talking that talk. You feel me? But other than that, y'all stay up. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And live your life. Be safe out there. You feel me? I want y'all to go still try to break the game. Anytime you try to break the game, the devs come for come in the patch. But we need we need game breaking glitches. We need we need y'all to try to break the game the game with animations and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yak it. And then at the end of the day, y'all just stay up. Spam that like button. It's gonna help me blow this channel back up or get it going this time around. You know what I'm saying? And I'll see y'all next video, man. Peace.